know, there were people along the way that saw her uh, being placed in the car and saw her being dropped off at the hospital. Metro police say it was those people, witnesses, who helped them track down Kenneth Willis. Some cases information comes in at a rapid pace. Sometimes information, uh, you know, we don't get very much information, but, but this case kind of fell in line from the beginning. The investigation began Tuesday night, just before 9. Police got called to this house on West Muhammad Ali Boulevard. There had been a shooting. It was a dispute over narcotics, uh, at which time the suspect started to assault the victim, which ultimately led to her being uh, shot and killed. Police say Ashley Spriggs knew the man they say killed her. I think that uh, through uh, the narcotics world that they, they met and, uh, and you know that's what they were there together. That's what drew them together. Spriggs was shot in the head. She was taken to Norton Hospital in a private car and dropped off. She was later transferred to university where she died early Wednesday morning. Police say Willis helped get Spriggs to the hospital, but are not saying what role he played. That's part of the stuff that we're not releasing at this point. Uh, you know, there was a lot of different different uh, items of evidentiary value that we were able to, to uh, collect and uh, process. Spriggs was a mother to a young son, a daughter and sister. Well, anytime we can clear a case or anytime we can bring uh, resolution to, to a murder, you know, it helps uh, the department and the community as well. And court records show Kenneth Willis has been convicted of drug crimes in the past. Now he's charged with murder, being a convicted felon with a gun and possession of heroin. No more arrests are expected. Emily Maha, WLKY News. Thank